found this one. I want to give a special thanks to Caddis Maximus. Check out his channel. I'll put his link down below to his channel and the video on his uh, review on this ratchet. I uh, ended up going to four O'Reilly Auto Parts to uh, find this one. It's uh, pretty much a mess at each one. Oh man, some of the, the smaller ones, it's just it's a mix. It's got Power Torque. They got um, a few other brands I forgot the name of and, uh, and Titans just like sprinkled in here and there in each store. So I ended up going to the biggest store I can find at O'Reilly Auto Parts and uh, they finally had it in a little kiosk display right in front of the register. It's the 11313. So this part number threw me off because uh, when I went to the uh, Apex show next to the uh, SEMA show, so it's the SEMA Apex show, they had the 11311 and they had four other colors in the little little um, cash register type display. I'll put the photos at the end or put them after this, but uh, they had these all pegged up into a little display in different colors. I don't remember seeing the black, but uh, yeah, I've been looking at looking for these ever since and finally they have it out. Um, if you search on the website, a Titan website, it's 11313 and this is all they have. So this is the only one you can find right now and uh, it's made in Taiwan, I believe, yeah. So at the show, they had uh, a whole bunch of them and I asked them if they were selling them. They said, no, it's just a, a concept right now, I guess, and they didn't want to even sell me one. So definitely uh, would have picked one up if they had it for sale. Super fine tea on these. Uh, I do not want to open it up. Um, so in the Caddis Maximus video, he did open it up. It's supposed to have a heart-shaped spring in there with the paw. And uh, that's all it basically is. It's just this moves around the heart-shaped uh, spring and then moves the, uh, the paw back and forth inside. It's pretty cool, he tore it all apart. So definitely check his video out if you wanna see the inside of these. Definitely well oiled, as you can see. Super fine and pretty tight. It's nice that it stays in its place, so it's not super, super tight, but good enough to uh, break in, because if you do get oil in there, it'll loosen up over time. Pretty nice. Definitely want to get this to use. Let's uh, see how long it is. All right, so measures eh, four inches, maybe just put a little bit more. And the depth would be, that's hard to see there, uh, three quarter, just a little over three quarter inches deep. Let's put a socket or extension on here. So snap on extension. That's a tight fit. Is the looseness there? That's it. Teeth have a little bit of back drag in them, but it's pretty loose as far as I can feel it. So this will run you $14.99. This is how much I bought it for here in California. So depending on where you're at, that's uh, what it'll run you. Um, Let's see, something comparable. Hey, this is the gear wrench quarter inch 90 tooth. Uh, check out my video on the 90 tooth here. It is definitely a lot smaller. This is just a quarter inch. This is the new gear wrench. And that uh, definitely is pretty tiny. Um, what else do I got here? Gotta be something. Here's the Vera. This is the new Vera one that comes in the uh, Christmas set. So yeah, just a little bit bigger than that. So it's non-locking, keep that in mind. The depth is pretty close there. Switch sticks out just a little bit. Plus you got the uh, rotary action on there. 
So uh, definitely can't wait to get this to use. My other three, well, my other two rotary ratchets are the Milwaukee 4822 9000. This thing is pretty nice. This is, I think this is their best ratchet. The other two, I don't know so much about. Um, I only have the quarter inch, uh, I don't have it right here, but the quarter inch regular non-rotary is, uh, it's okay. But this thing, nice and comfortable. It's, it feels like it only has like 72 teeth, but uh, definitely easy to use in the hand. I've been loving it so far. Nice uh, all around, good size. The handle's not too big. Definitely got some use out of this. Uh, definitely recommend this one. This is the one I uh, grew up with here. I think it's over, over 15 years of use on this one. Uh, rebuilt it once or twice, I believe, and then it's been good ever since. So at least probably 11 years, 12 years of, after rebuilding it, it's been fine. I know these had an issue uh, when they first came out. They, uh, they had a little bit of issues, but uh, other than that, I, I put the, a lot of force on this one. The F748. This one, uh, yeah, definitely arced it a couple times. <laughs> but uh, definitely a, a nice one to have here. Got some good use out of it. And there is my rotary trio. And uh, yep, I'll report back on this one if I have any issues. Definitely want to get use on these. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. And on to the next one. Thank <laughs> you.